Okay, so he was picking up a heavy post. He had his head turned to one side. Boom, gave himself a cerebellar stroke. Uh, so he was in very symptomatic. How long were you symptomatic before it started to settle down? Um, two days. Two yeah, days? days at least, yeah. All right, then, then he settled down. The symptoms got a lot better. Uh, and now he has this, well, it ended up being central vertigo. So first they thought he had BPPV. Uh, they're doing checking the semicircle canals, doing all the, the Epley maneuver, the, the was it picks, all all pick right, uh, the half somersault maneuver, uh, thing that is vertigo is coming from the inner, uh, from the semicircle canals. Uh, that went on for quite a while, and then you had somebody say, nope, this is a central vertigo, central vertigo. Okay, okay so then if it's central vertigo, then we we look at the vertebral arteries, and the, and the blood supply. Uh, the same thing caused the initial symptoms and the initial stroke. So all we got to do is trace the vertebral arteries through uh, to their origin to the heart. So as an atlas orthogonist, what do I care about? I care about adjusting these atlases. Uh, some days we think we can fix just about anything because we've adjusted an atlas and the, and the craziest symptoms go away. Well, I think here we have a, uh, an extra little branch coming off your vertebral artery. Uh, and I think this needs to be, I'm, I'm glad you're getting adjusted. Uh, we would like to have some prolotherapy to tighten up this to make it not move so much. Uh, here we have you, when you turn your head to the left, the atlas really goes up pretty far in there and it's not, doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that you're uh, putting some pressure on that vertebral artery and that extra little funny little branch you got in there. Uh, when you turn your head the other way, that doesn't move so much. Uh, there still seems to be plenty of room in there and the left vertebral artery doesn't have that extra branch. Um, although it does look like it's been, it's taken a hit. Look how uh, withered it is. And now let's come around and look at the rest of the story. So here we can see no vertebral artery uh, below C4. Um, the radiologist can't determine the age of that. Uh, again, our current working diagnosis is this positional vertigo. So you change positions and you'll have have the vertigo. So we, we, what did I do? We evaluated the movement of these vertebrae here. So we're going to show you a hypermobile segment right here. Uh, just like you would think, this vertebra, this joint capsule over here is injured, and this thing moves, maybe it tethers and tractions the, the vertebral artery through here. So uh, what do we want? Actually, we want to identify it first. Uh, here you can see the way the other joint capsules look, and this one, you can see the way it looks. And you've said that you've been a painter for 40 years and you've abused your neck. And well, we see uh, an end plate fracture where your C2 falls off the front of C3, and we're seeing this joint capsule here uh, that looks like it's adapted to an, a bunch of unequal loading. Uh, this one is loose, it needs PRP, it needs prolo, it needs to move less, and when that is on the left side, which is, that's the murder weapon. So to me, your murder weapon is the hypermobility of this motor unit right here. You can see how when it moves, to, when he moves to the left, that's how it closes. It kind of kind of wedges back and kind of goes into an extension type. And then when he turns the other way, I'll show it to you there. There's just a lot of movement. You'll see that it moves here more than any other motor unit. It's like the rest of you have has arthritic changes, and this is where a lot of your movement is occurring. So I can see how it tractions the vertebral artery or, or uh, put an undue load on there. Uh, and you basically your symptoms are when you're lying down or, or move a certain position. So our current working diagnosis is this: the integrity of this motor unit is allowing this to move too much. And we did ultrasound on you. You do have blood supply going the correct direction through here. Uh, the radiologist uh, talks about it disappearing through here and then reconstituting here. Uh, so it, there's not enough contrast in a way that where you can see it here but we believe that there is some blood going through there. Uh, we sent this to a neurointerventional radiologist. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and evaluate you a little bit. Uh, actually, he's brilliant, so he's gonna, he's gonna really, uh, he might go out on the skinny branches for you. Um, but those are decisions you have to make ultimately. Anytime anybody comes after this vertebral artery, there's a risk, uh, even putting balloons in there or, well, 
I'll let him talk to you about that. Uh, right, so again, your choke points or your vulnerable points for the vertebral artery up right here for the atlas. And then right here, um, we did look through here and didn't find any arthritic changes in there that looked like a smoking gun when it comes to uh, damaging or tethering your vertebral artery. Any questions? You know, it Any sounds questions? like um, you just have to be very careful with that neck and the position of that neck yeah. and get get new habits completely. Okay, thank you. All right, let's get that up. 